with us, our 24-hour designer jewelry event continues, and I'm, I'm the lucky guy today. I'm one of only two hosts that gets the chance to present Jade of Yesteryear with Stella Chow. And if you could have just heard the conversation we were having, we were talking about how limited everything is today, and she's like, this is this is not on purpose. I, I literally, I can't find it. I'm trying to get as much as I can. So this really is a moment to be able to treat yourself to something incredibly rare and special. We're going to talk limited quantities throughout the day, so if you see something you love, don't delay. Now, big, bold, Art Deco-inspired frame, but this to me feels like a talisman. You know, this is, is a really bold, fun, glamorous way to wear your classic oval green jade. So you've got your prong set oval center, and then this Art Deco-inspired frame that has your tiers of both open work and CZs. This is just to me, it feels very amulet style, very mm -hmm. eye drawing, eye catching, a way to make jade truly um, something to draw the eye in. Well, it is uh, it's the regal stone. Mm -hmm. It's the most important stone. How could you adorn it by anything else but the best craftsmanship there is? Most of my designs are, uh, a lot of the design are inspired by my original designs. I've been collecting, uh, been buying from Christie and Sunsby since, you know, my family sold a lot of the pieces out. So now I'm able to bring some, some more back. This piece was a copy of my original. Actually, I have some of the original in my purse and I left it. <laughs> my purse right <laughs> across there. <laughs> but uh, uh, the, the design is fabulous. And to you, that's what it looked like. But it is a very, very... Uh, uh, to me, it's a very Christy Susby auction pieces. It's beautiful. It's a very large piece. It really sparkles. Um, there's not a better way. You see how it curved down and with, with the... It, it, I guess it's... a. Uh, you said Art Deco, I, I guess is more of the 1950s look. Oh, okay. Right? Can you see that? Yeah, yeah. You know, more of the 1950s, uh, back in those David Webb's big time, you know, mm. when he was doing those bow type of jewelry, except he wasn't using the diamond as much back mm. then. Yeah. I, to me, that those are the pieces. And when we talk mm. about places like Christie's and Sotheby's, mm -hmm. I mean, these are this is an aspirational way to be able to get something that we dream about, right? Right. Like we, we don't all, all have, you know, black colors cards and, and unending <laughs> amounts of money, but you want to be able to celebrate those styles, and that's what Stella has done. She has gotten the chance to experience those moments in time, and she has recreated them for you. She has sourced true jade. I mean, if you're out there in the market shopping for jade, you'll see prices go up, you'll see availability go down, and a lot of it is not the real thing. That's right. Most of the things that you see in the marketplace that looks like it and the price is less is uh, because it is not jade eye, it's quartz eyes, it's dyed quartz to make it look like jade eyes. Mm. Because jade eyes are just getting rarer and rarer and hard to find. There are only two places, two, three places in the world that has jade eye. Probably only two places. Yeah, two, three places uh, that has jade eye. And jade eye is of all different qualities also. Now your purchase today comes with an 18 inch Rolo link chain. You have four flexible payments, five, if you're shopping with your HSN card or your HSN MasterCard. You know, if you look at Colette right now and you see the way that amulet, that center pendant drop just sits right at the end of her neckline, it almost looks like a brooch, like an accent piece mm -hmm, on her mm -hmm. clothing. And yet, if she were wearing a high neck, it would be this beautiful center focus, like target look to drive your eye right to uh -huh. when you see her wearing it, because it's got such balance to it, and yet draws the attention in. And if you want to wear it in the evening, if you like, you could add maybe two more chains to it, too. Mm. So it will make it a little more sparkling. I think the chain, well, you know, the chain is always free. We always provide you uh, a a free chain and, and it, sterling silver. This is not brass or anything like that. Mm -hmm. But so if you want to make it more dressier, you could make it a diamond cut chain or mm. something like that. And you use two, three chains that will make it even uh, more interesting. Uh, the piece is a classic piece. Look at how the pieces are bomb uh, designed Bombay. So when I make Jade of, just, uh, Jade of Yesteryear's jewelry, I always want to make it so it is the same as the original couture pieces. So we want to show you another beautiful pendant with chain option, not scheduled to get a presentation, but a great way to pick up Jade.